that okay whether the patient needs to be admitted to the burns unit or not and let's say if at all you decide to admit the patient you have to manage that particular patient and before managing that particular patient you have to classify that particular burn whether it is a superficial burn or a deep burn and xy that okay so let's kind of talk about it so let's have a question for you guys so there is a let's say 10 year old boy who is playing with the firework blah 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 sustain sustained the full thickness burns okay full thickness burns happen to that particular patient okay which of the following statement is not characteristic of that particular situation so they have a leathery appearance the burn area is extremely painful until the skin grafted they always heal with scarring and the blanching does not occur under pressure so answer over here is b that is not a characteristic if at all there is a full thickness burns it will not be painful okay so the pain is usually not associated with the complete full thickness burn. so how do we classify the burns to classify the burns into different kind of degree of the burns so we have a first degree burn then we have a superficial second degree deep second degree third degree and the fourth degree what is included in the first degree burns so here the burns is localized to the epidermis only okay now what about the superficial second degree burn so here there is an epidermis along with the part of the dermis only only the superficial papillary dermis is involved so please understand this papillary dermis okay so in the dermis only till the papillary layer is involved that is the superficial second degree burns what about the deep second degree burns so over here there is involvement of the epidermis and the dermis involvement is still the reticular dermis okay so here it was still the papillary dermis here it is still the reticular dermis then we have a third degree burns that is a full thickness injury through the epidermis and the dermis involving the subcutaneous tissue subcutaneous fat as well in the fourth degree burn there is injury to the skin and the subcutaneous tissue and the underlying muscles and the bones are also involved so these are the four degrees of the burns